Hello there, in today's video, let's talk about street photography. First off, what is street photography? There's a lot of explanation or to define what is street photography, but giving a definition to something that is an art will just limit our vision. And vision is very essential when it comes to street photography. One thing to put in mind, street photography is all about documenting human life. That's it, period. Handed or permission, black and white or colored, it doesn't really matter. Street photography is capturing the, the essence of human life. Doing street photography, especially if you are just a beginner, can be quite overwhelming. A lot of things happening around you at once and you don't know what are you going to capture and what are you not going to capture. Now, personally, when I started into street photography, I went to the street, but I don't know what to take. So what I did is just I click and click and click and click and click because I have no idea what's on my mind. I mean, I have no idea what I want to capture. In that experience, I realized that in order for you to capture something that you like, you have to have something in your mind set first before going out on the street. You have to select your vision first. What do you want to capture today? Do you want to capture some human emotions? Do you want to capture some uh, actions? Do you want to capture some movements? Of course, action that is. And many others, what would you want to capture today? As a starting point, look for the following subject if you are in the field. In this video, I want to talk about the basics of street photography. Even though this is just basic, it will help you to discover your own vision and open up your eyes to the enormous potential that exists to capture the human elements, which is the core of street photography. The expression of someone's face or the emotions portrayed in their body language is what makes photography meaningful. It's what creates the relationship that makes the photo speaks to you. To capture the feeling in a photograph that caused the same emotional reaction in its viewer is the goal of any photographers. One thing that you got to remember also is that street photography is not just about sadness or negative feeling especially not about poverty. You can also capture some hope, happiness in street photography. You see children playing on the street and then you see people laughing beside the street. That is actually a good moment for you to capture those kind of moments. And I just want to clear things that in street photography, you should never capture a homeless people, especially for those people who are just lying on the street, for those people who are begging for a penny. And do you know why? It's very simple. You don't want to highlight the suffering of other people just to make an interesting image. That's it. It is one of the oldest catchphrases in this genre, but it is persisted for the reason. Juxtaposition is when two or more elements in the photograph communicating with each other. All masters use these techniques in their photographs to make people think about and make their own interpretation of an image. In our day-to-day -day lives, we often don't notice this, this juxtaposition. But a little observation and some anticipation will give you an opportunity to capture something that is unique and timeless. Capturing something that's not visible to everyone is what makes street photography so special. A little humor never hurts. Bringing a little smile on someone's faces with your image is the best reward you can get. It could be the most normal or ordinary thing. Something we see every day but with a twist that brings a smile. Just remember, there is a fine line between funny and ridiculing someone. Make sure everyone can enjoy your humor or satire with, without embarrassing them or offending them. Shooting action at its peak is one of the most abundance you will find in this genre of photography. With that being said, the challenge there is to capture the action at its most legendary moment. You would want the person who's looking at your photos to think about where the moment started, where it is going to end, to understand the decisive nature of the action. You can use a slow shutter speed to create a sense of motion or fast shutter speed if you really want to face the action. 
creating a story in your photograph, we are not talking about one genre only. Creating a story or message in photograph doesn't mean you should always focus on one genre, but it is a combination of one or two. So what kind of message or story would you like your viewers to see on your photograph? So that would depend on you. Do you want to do you want your viewers to see something that is that that is something positive or something negative, something dark, something bright? It's all up to you. What kind of message would you like them to see? So that would be all for now and see you again next time.